Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age Tech Tip sponsored by Robin Air. Today we'll be discussing my perspective around 1234YF and many of the important aspects of these modern refrigerant systems. Back in 2021, we made the investment in a 1234YF RRR machine, and it just so happened to be a Robin Air unit. My decision to make the investment was based off of many factors. One was because we had recently turned down a few YF jobs because we simply didn't have the equipment. Although it was only a few over the course of about as many months, I began to forecast based off of the vehicle population and the growing fleet of YF vehicles. Secondarily, through many of the training programs we consume regularly, I decided to get proactive on MVAC servicing by recommending two to four year full cycle services that involve not only servicing the refrigerant side, but also performing cabin air filter services as well. This has increased our profitability across both R134A and 1234YF applications. For review, all mobile air conditioning systems will lose some charge and when the charge drops, the movement of critical lubrication oil suffers, which can lead to increased compressor temperatures and wear. Performing a proper inspection during your services can reveal many service opportunities as well. Closely observing the performance of engine mounts, AC hose and line routing, and cooling system performance and correcting abnormalities can prevent many AC system failures and increase your revenue. Now let's talk a little bit about why we have 1234YF. The Environmental Protection Agency many years ago moved us all off R12 and into R134A because R134A had a lesser impact to the environment when it leaked into the atmosphere. Now we have a new refrigerant with another significant reduction in environmental impact, which has seen most manufacturers move to this refrigerant since 2019, with some, including Honda, that made the leap back in 2017. So if your clients are driving Hondas, then you'll want to prepare for the future and begin planning to support 1234YF, in my opinion. We've had many numerous major repairs on Hondas, which often include evaporator core replacement, which of course isn't a pleasant experience for clients required to shell out a significant amount of dollars to fix their air conditioning. But with this move to 1234YF means that we have a new challenge, and that is this new refrigerant is slightly flammable. And what this means is that the regulators had to come up with mandated service guidelines to assure safety. What this means is that there are slightly different service requirements professionals need to perform when properly servicing these systems. The first, of course, being that we need additional equipment. And there are many details that may bore you, but you need to make sure that you're at least aware of the fact that this machine must have special relays, switches, and other controls all poised to prevent any internal arcing due to the previously mentioned flammability issue. Additionally, your service time will increase as well. Machines are required to perform certain steps along the way to assure a leaking system is not placed back into service and it places accountability on the certified technician performing these services as well. By the way, to professionally service mobile air conditioning systems, one must achieve EPA 609 certification. Although there isn't a new 1234YF certification requirement for those already 608 or 609 certified, certificate holders are required to complete training on the safe handling of servicing R1234YF refrigeration systems. There's also a refrigerant identification requirement, so expect to find a certified device internal of the RRR machine. There's a new leak detection requirement as well with specific performance minimums. Technicians will need to declare that a proper leak detection routine took place during service. This routine will take place during the recharge portion where only a small percentage of the total charge is placed into the system where the machine will then prompt the technician to perform a test. If the test is performed and it passes, the technician will need to make this declaration within the RRR equipment to move on to the next phase of recharging the system. This brings up another point I'd like to surface. 
R1234YF is extremely expensive. So if you have a vehicle arrive with an empty system, you're going to want to think twice about simply performing an evacuate and recharge and look for leaks. A tracer gas leak detection routine makes more sense. And if you want to learn more about how Robinair's tracer kit works, check out the video I produced on this topic not long ago, which we'll have linked here in the description. Now here's another tip I'd like to share, and that is the use of a sight glass, which can help you quickly assess a few key factors. Now, wouldn't it be nice to see if the system has dye in it or not? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to gauge that the system has a decent level of oil? And wouldn't it be nice to see if the refrigerant is clean and the system is potentially contaminated? And wouldn't it be nice to perform a quick check to see if the system is low or not? Well, there's a device that I've been using for several years now on R134A systems. And since we started servicing 1234YF, I have a new sight glass dedicated to that side as well. Now, although Robinair doesn't currently supply this hardware, they gave me permission to discuss this and demonstrate this powerful tool. One last point I'd like to touch on is EVs. EVs rely on the HVAC system in more ways than you might be aware of. And because of this, there are service interval requirements for the desiccant bag replacement on these systems. Now, I have two Teslas and one is due for its desiccant bag replacement at five years. The other vehicle here is a heat pump system and it too will need its bag serviced in the future. So if you're currently or planning on servicing EVs, then you'll want to be ready and prepared to deliver proper 1234YF service. If you're interested in learning more about the great MVAC equipment offered by Robinair, please visit them at Robinair.com. Now I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.